Shalom, shalom, family. Pray y'all doing good on this blessed, beautiful day. You know what I'm talking about? All praise to the Most High. The opportunity to share the word and get in the word. You know what I'm talking about? But um, just off the strength of Second Thessalonians today, still, you know, went back, just reviewed it again. Um, you know, just getting deep, right? But um, what I wanted to point out, it mentioned earlier on, well, I think I was going into chapter two, but basically mentioning that, you know, Christ is at hand. You know what I'm saying? You know, the day of Christ is at hand, right? So with that, all right, with the day of Christ being at hand, feel me? He said that must first, Paul's saying that must first come up, falling away first, that the man of sin may be revealed, all right? Now, when I look into reveal, which is kind of obvious, but it's always good to look into some words, y'all, just to get a deeper root meaning of it. But to be revealed means to be uncovered, to be made known, you know, or, or to manifest, right? So um, that man, the man of sin is the son of perdition, the son of perdition being Lucifer, you feel me? And the, the precept to that scripture is in Isaiah um, 14, chapter 14, verse 13, right? So what's being said here is basically it only, pretty much what's keeping the son of perdition from manifesting, you know what I'm saying, or being made known or being uncovered, you know, is um, that um, pretty much what's keeping him back, the devil Lucifer, the son of perdition back, is the bulk of believers holding to the faith, you feel me, holding to the truth, you know, and, um, and not forsaking Christ, you know what I'm saying, not abandoning the faith, not running at the most crucial time to stand for the word and in the word. And right now we're living in the most, one of the most satanic times ever, man. The satanic push is so strong to get us to go against the most high God and to forsake him in so many subtle, sneaky, crafty ways. It ain't as outwardly known. To some it is. You know, some people out here just outright know that they're serving the devil. But what they're, what they're doing is orchestrating very crafty means. And I'm talking about the children of the devil to um, get believers to entertain things that will separate them from Christ. And that is the falling away, you know, to be separated from Christ or whatever um, pertains to separating you from Christ. It could just be sin or it could just be you uh, yielding yourself and entertaining things that's not of the most high, things that are blasphemous or things that will so season you to blaspheme. And I'm seeing it on a major level. Um, you know, even people in my job come to me sharing things with me. You know, I seen this TV show, uh, this pastor did this and this and this, man, that made me not even want to... Uh, have nothing, you know, basically indicating that it might make them not even want to have nothing to do with church or, you know, you know, the faith. And I could tell the difference, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of wild, you know what I'm saying? So people are entertaining and looking at the stuff. And I warned the brother, I said, man, if I was you, I would advise not to look at that. You know what I'm saying? Because all it can do is if it ain't strengthening you, then it's weakening, weakening you. And, and, and I know good seed have been sown. You know what I'm saying? So the devil will come and take that away if you allow him. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go back to what type of ground you are. You understand? But through the TV shows, the music, the satanic music, this 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 rock music and joint, yo. Like, man, this stuff is pulling a lot of people in, man. This modern day music. And then, you know, then it's even religious and false doctrine that's pulling y'all in. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about like these new doctrine everybody jumping on because now everybody getting more health conscious. You feel me? And since everybody getting health conscious, trying to eat better and healthier, now you got a push of all these different religions or um, doctrines or teachings within religions that's um, putting, you know, that's setting out there for their followers or whatever to um, abstain from particular foods. You feel me? And I had an encounter with some um, some vegans and you know all of my brothers and sisters out there who. Um, or vegetarians or whatever, you know, the term vegan or whatever, I mean, I don't know, man. From my experiences, man, some of these people are, um, they dealing with it real religiously. So they came at me in a way, they were saying God would never, you know, basically God wouldn't kill no animal. You know, God wouldn't do this or that. I'm thinking, I don't know what God you serving. All the sacrifices offered, you know what I'm saying, in the scriptures. And then it dawned on me, man, the enemy is going to use that to get many to not, receive the uh the reality of the fact of the gospel that our lord and savior was crucified and um gave his life and was sacrificed for our sins so man y'all gotta be careful out here man this ain't gonna level you know what i'm saying that's just one of the ways you feel me 
you know, but Satan moving in many different ways to, to, to throw us off, man, and to try to get us in the end, especially blaspheming. A lot of these uh, camps and churches, man, they getting real, real, real cold hearted to Christ, man, and people who truly walking in Christ, and they blaspheme, they are blaspheming, and not only that, they are sowing the seeds into their followers to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Now, these are unforgivable sins, you know what I'm saying? So, the, it, it's a mystery. Because y'all don't know what's going on, don't see it. And it happens so subtly, it's so easy to do and entertain. So I'm telling you, man, if anything go to most hot, not of the most hot, y'all got to separate yourself from it. Feel me? And um, and what I have here also is that, you know, so the mystery of iniquity is that we separate you from God and Christ. And that could be sin in general, just lawlessness in general. But, um, you know, overall, you have to put up a fight against sin, against the tempter. You have to resist the devil. The scripture tell us, resist the devil and he will flee from you. You understand? So you can't resist him if you're running entertaining the things that's causing him, that's giving him ground in your life. You see what I'm saying? You got to separate yourself from these things and be set apart. You know what I'm saying? And, or, and um, to resist means to, you know, put up a fight. You're going you're gonna to put up a fight. You're going to stand. To resist means to stand against, to be unaffected by, you know, or to remain or stay upright, to be not moved. You feel me? That means to hold your ground up to stand. Don't let Satan move you. Don't let the things that um he's the many devices that he's using to try to cause you to lose out on eternal life in the kingdom of peace and love and joy for eternity. Don't fall for this mess. You know what I'm saying? Put up a fight. And um in, in order to do this, you're gonna have to um your faith gonna have to be grounded and founded on the, our Lord and Savior Christ. And you're gonna have to stand on the word and deal with the adversary with counter scriptures when he attack you. You got to come with the counter scripture. You got to know it. So therefore you got to be reading and you got to be saving these scriptures and meditating on them and reciting them in your mind and your heart until you, they just stick with you that you can fight back, you know. And that's what our Lord and Savior did, right? So um as I mentioned, separate yourself from the things giving him room in your life. You feel me? Causing him to cause havoc in your life to torment you and those around you, your children and everything. You know, you got to separate yourself from this evil and renounce it and detest it. You should you should be disgusted by this evil. You should be disgusted by the blasphemy and the stuff that's going on out here, the false doctrine. You should be disgusted by the thing that's trying to separate you from God, our Lord and Savior. You should be disgusted of the sin that's trying to keep you from inheriting eternal life. You understand? And, um, you know, whatever, you know, we struggling with or whatever the case be, I pray the most high make way. And anything that you may be entertaining, you might not even know. That's how sneaky the devil lives. You know what I'm saying? So pray um, that the most high reveal to you what you need to deal with and address. Feel me? And I pray the same that he bless y'all with that clarity in me as well. I love y'all, man. Let's get it. You know what I'm talking about? Shalom.